Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can, and they continue with Fallout 1 blind. Now, I don't know what to do, because there are those force field uh, emitters. Wait, it temporarily disabled the force field. What did I even click? T to my knowledge, I just clicked look at it. I have no idea what just happened. No idea whatsoever, but I'll take it, because I, I tried using repair on it and all that, like, what did I even click? I will have to actually watch that later uh, on the recording, because I'm pretty sure I just click, I just clicked look at it. Yeah, you temporarily disabled the force field, but by doing what exactly? I just looked at it, and I did plenty of looking before. What? What's going on? I definitely did that before, and nothing happened. I'm thoroughly confused. Not sure, I I'll take this. Uh, flip. Oh, so he has a name. Well, it's not like it's going to save him. Trooper. I, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, mm, a flower. Uh, people at the cathedral uh, sold those flowers? So, is this implying that he was once a child of the cathedral, or do I need it because it's used as an identification of sorts? I guess I'll take it, just to be sure. I would feel safer if I took... Mm, although, I have plenty of ammo, so screw it. Let's continue with that. Now, there are some prisoners in here. Uh, presumably waiting to be turned into super mutants against their will. So let's talk to them and maybe free them. Okay, there's nobody here. Oh my god, you killed them. Uh, well, he was my enemy, I had to kill him. You didn't have to kill him, Sarah sobs. Leave me alone. Oh, oh, so I guess she knew one of them, or, or both of them, uh, before they turned. But to be honest, there was not much of an alternative. It seems that mm, turning someone back into a human from a super mutant is very complicated and borderline impossible with the current level of uh, uh, you know technology and uh, scientific uh, sort of possibility so like they attacked me first and they were planning to attack all of the wasteland so i'm sorry but i think it has it had to be this way you didn't have to kill him leave me alone Oh well. Okay, so what's up with that? Like, look, I'm looking at it currently, and nothing is happening. Like, what did I even do that it worked before? 
I was under the impression I literally just looked at it. I am very confused by all of this. I cannot repair that apparently. But how did I how did I even open it in the first place? I have no idea and it's kind of annoying to me because I don't know what to do to progress. You cannot repair that. But I can do something, right? You fail to do anything with the force field. I just click on that and it sometimes hmm maybe it's a randomized maybe I have to oh maybe I have to click on it enough times but that's kind of stupid and counterintuitive like how was I supposed to know that this is ridiculous and badly designed oh well Mm, okay, I'm currently on level 3, right? So let's go on to level 4. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> that super mutant over there, I mean that robot over here, uh, it's a Mr. Handy, right? Uh, but, but it kind of looks like a mechanical beholder. Uh, out of D and D. Okay, great. That makes my job easier. Out of ammo, you say. Okay. More stim packs, sure, why not? Another, ra another radio. Hmm. Plastic explosives. Okay, could be potentially useful, I guess. But I can't. I don't have enough. inventory space to be carrying them. Uh, let's leave them for now. Hopefully if the game requires me to use them it will communicate it clearly and maybe I will go back. Okay, let's talk to the Mr. Handy. Oh, I can't. Can I do anything else? This robot is non-functional. The layer of dust on it suggests that it hasn't been active recently. Okay, maybe I can repair it. You tinker with the components but need more time to make the fix. The robot has been repaired, but it's still not functioning. Okay, let's try programming it then. I spent some time working on the robot, but cannot get it restarted. Unit 462 online, self-test, adjusting your location unit data, fixed, rebuilding, rebuilding memory file, fixed, error, task incomplete. Well, what is your incomplete task? It's, cl it's a cleaning model, must finish cleaning and maintenance on this level, what do you have left to clean? Uh, the VAT control room, end of the list, okay, let's go finish your task. Restarting task. 
I'm not quite sure what this is going to accomplish. And maybe he will walk over all of the mines or something. Or maybe he will actually open the passage for me. Uh, hmm. You gain a thousand experience points by doing a little cleanup work. Okay, so I guess he opened a passage for me here. But before I go in there, let's uh, check this part first. Okay, so the game actually crashed and I had to redo a bit. So let's kill all of those robots then. And generally search this area. And I guess those are the children of the cathedral. So they have very mm, uh, they have very characteristic purple robes. Hmm, I guess those mutants have been alerted as well, which is not great. Not great, but not terrible. Okay, they cannot target me yet, which gives me the advantage because my turn will be next and I can target them. Hmm, I didn't manage to kill the one with the rocket launcher, which is a problem. I might be dead. Eh, not quite. someone called Van Hagen, uh, which I guess saves me the trouble of doing so. this Van, ha Van Hagen guy. Robes. Oh, hmm. This might be useful if I try to sneak into the cathedral. Maybe I can pretend to be one of the children of the cathedral. So obviously this item has to exist in the game for some purpose, right? So that would be a good purpose in my opinion. Uh, hmm, okay, I need more space though. I guess if I consume a couple of lock, a couple of steam bags, maybe it's going to free enough space to pick up the robes. How much can robes weigh? Oh, well, quite a lot, I guess. Uh, okay, leave run one right away. Hmm, still can't. Okay, let's put one set of ammo here. Still can't pick it up. Okay, a hundred pieces of ammunition should be enough for the end game. Mm. 
because it's, it's a very powerful weapon, so I'm not using that much uh, ammo to kill my enemies. Okay, it's great that I saved, because the game actually crashed again. the lieutenant of the master's army okay well I'm quite impressed my spies told me you were resourceful but they seem to have underestimated your talents guards capture him hmm tell me about the master the master is father to us all tell me about the mutants I won't even dignify that with an answer. What about the war? That question is irrelevant to the Unity. The Unity is the goal of all super mutants. Through the FEV virus, we will bring all of humanity together in peace. What? That's utterly retarded, because the super mutants are sterile, so... You know, disregarding all of the forced conversion into a super mutant and disregarding potential health problems and also the potential of dying uh, and disregarding the fact that some of the super mutants seem to be intellectually disabled, disregarding all of that, it's still an insanely ineffective and stupid plan because... If you turned the entirety of humanity into super mutants, then you would essentially doom the human species because uh, you can only create new super mutants out of new humans. You cannot create new super mutants out of new uh, out of super mutants themselves because they cannot procreate. That's stupid and weird. But uh, I guess, okay, like, villains are often stupid and their plans for the world are, are also often stupid. So I guess that is the point here. Well, let's fight. You cannot defeat me. Well, we'll see about that in a moment. Whoa, he hit me for 127 damage, which is quite impressive. Oh, damn it, I didn't save after killing this robot. But... Okay, let's save now and duke it out again. Well, I'm quite impressed. Hmm, I hit him for 70, which is not bad either. Uh, for 70 and then 122. Okay, this is. Great. Okay, out of ammo. It's not the best time to be out of ammo, but... Okay. Mm, he's using a lot of stim packs, which is understandable. He's very wounded. And also dead, I think. Hmm. Is that a death animation? Oh, 
I think it is. Okay, that was a very cool death animation. He sort of... He has sort of, sort of fallen apart. Um, you're victorious. You earn uh, 1,500 XP. It's locked. Well, not for long, probably. <laughs> not, that, not that they can pick anything up, but if it's like hollow discs or stuff, electronic lock pick. Hmm. Key. The electronic lock pick could be useful. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's leave the rope and take this. Hopefully I won't need the rope. Mm. Okay, here's a holo disk. I will read that in a moment. It's locked. Well, maybe I can use the key to open that. Hmm. Apparently the key is not in my inventory, which is weird. Maybe it's a key, it's, maybe it's a plot relevant key. You no, know, for something else. Okay, first of all, let's save. Because if the game crashes, I will have to fight him again. Mm. Now, let's read his holo disk. Mm. You see a decryption decoder. Lo downloading data, okay. Hmm. But wait, there are no new thingamajigs, uh, new logs here. I read all of those. So I guess this must just be a decoder? Like, I can use this to decode something else later on. You see an encryption decoder. File found on a system aborting. Yeah, but what even is that? Like... This isn't here, I, I read all of those. Right? This is from the military base, yeah, Major Barnett. Uh, mm, I read all of those, so I'm not sure what has just happened, but presumably it was important for something. Uh, let's deal with the rest of... Oh, what's this computer for? Not much is the answer. And let's deal with the rest of the children of the cathedral. Uh, right here. I surrender. Please don't kill me. I only work here. You killed the right hand of God. The master will be most upset. Now has come the time for us to join the holy flame. Okay, so are they going to all commit suicide? I guess they, they, they commit like ritualistic suicide because they, they, they feel like I've destroyed their, uh, you know, their purpose in life. You killed the right hand of God. Don't kill me, I only work here. But what's the, what's the point in them asking me to, to spare them if they are going to kill themselves? I don't quite understand that, but oh well. You see vats. Com a complex of some sort. You are not sure, but you can see large vats of greenish goo that looks vaguely important. Yeah, so that's where they created the new super mutant, right? Uh, vats control computer. Uh, let's use science on it. You try to use the computer, but the system is too complex for you to understand easily. You'll have to keep trying. Okay. Uh, you manage to get the interf interface screen out of the VATS central computer. Okay. So, access granted command. 
Mm. Display security codes. Well, this. Uh, oh, freak. I wasn't. Mm. Did I like self destruct it? I didn't want to do that yet. Uh, time left 50, 60 seconds, but for what? I am going to reload. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I, I thought. It was going to display some kind of a log or something, and instead it executed a command. Okay. So instead of display security codes, let's go through search logs. Mm. Oh, Maxon? So I guess those are logs from before the war as well. Mm. Okay, Anderson. Unexpected end of line, bad data encountered. Uh, command? Well, apparently I can't access that. A uh, Maxon? Download log of Captain Maxon? Yes. Uh, search logs. Boyarski. Uh, bad data encountered. Search logs. Gray. Download log of Richard Gray. Oh! Richard Gray was one of the companions of Harold? Uh, and I think he was, like, wounded? in the attack on this base and he was missing afterwards and uh, Harold didn't know what happened to him, whether he survived or not. It's interesting, so I guess he, he must have survived if he logged into this computer. Uh, okay, so let's check those logs then. The coder stuff, but wait, where are they? Did they automatically download? Uh, Captain Maxon's diary. Uh, I, Roger Maxon, Captain. Yeah, so it's from 2077, so right before the war. I, Roger, Cap uh, Roger Maxon, Captain, serial number, have started this log because it doesn't look for good for any of us, and I'd like the people to know what really happened here. All hell broke loose when we finally discovered what those scientist bastards were up to. The colonel has locked himself in his office and seems to be having some sort of breakdown. The men are screaming for blood. They are looking to me for answers and I'm not sure what to do. Someone has to do something, though, before this place sinks into an anarchistic bloodbath. Every time we get a report from higher up, things get worse here. The war is going in a very bad direction, and this place is about to go into full mutiny with all the chaos that entails. I stopped one of the men from executing a scientist today and demanded that we interrogate them to find out what their orders were. I killed the man today. I was interrogating Chief Scientist Anderson and he was giving me the full details of, the, of their inhuman experiments. He said that the orders came from the government, but I didn't buy it. He started screaming about how he was following orders, how he was a military man, and I just shot him. I tell myself it was to keep him from causing a full mutiny among the men, but I'm not so sure. Well, to be honest, to be honest, it's woefully naive of this uh, Captain Maxon to believe that the United States government is incapable of commanding, uh, you know, inhumane uh, experimentation be done on people because first of all this is a universe in which presumably it's even more uh, authoritarian and more uh, governments overall have been steadily becoming more authoritarian as resources have uh, dried up on earth 
uh, and presumably there's a lot more surveillance and all that because of the war uh, of the wars that preceded the actual great war that ended civilization uh, but even in our reality in the real world uh, the government of the United States and many other governments I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not singling out the United States as some uniquely bad state I'm not saying that they are necessarily worse than any other I'm just saying that they are necess that, that, that they are certainly not better and I'm specifically referring to the states because I know a couple of those experiments uh, because for example uh, first of all uh, th th there have been a number of uh, like takeover operations where the United States have accepted war criminals uh, to work for the government of the United States in exchange for uh, for an amnesty, uh, which includes actual Nazis, like a lot of people at NASA after the war, and it was actually called Operation Paperclip, where they recruited a lot of head Nazi scientists including up to and including people that have done human experiments uh, and also they did the same with the Japanese uh, because the Japanese they actually the, the level of inhumanity of the human experimentation of the Japanese was probably uh, even worse than the Nazis uh, and and certainly done uh, in a more orderly sort of way uh, and and on a, on a much grander scale, which makes it much worse uh, it, to to even imagine, because uh, it was called the unit uh, unit seven hundred thirty one. It was a unit of the of the Japanese army, and they were conducting multiple horrible experiments on people. You know, studying diseases in uh, um, uh, what's the word. Uh, intentionally exposing people to diseases to study how they progress or, or keeping them in low temperature to study frostbite or uh, tearing them apart with grenades and then testing various ways of keeping them alive uh, or for example they were also performing vivisections uh, so basically cutting people open when they were still alive uh, to, 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 to test various drugs and chemicals and ways of treating wounds uh, and they did it to hundreds or probably thousands actually or of people and they mm, they kept a meticulous log of all of the findings and after the war uh, the United States actually pardoned a bunch of them a bunch of those researchers in exchange for getting the actual research uh, because obviously they would never be they would never been able or probably never even be willing to replicate it themselves especially after the war has already uh, ended, but they were very much interested in the research itself. So it's woefully naive to me uh, f from Captain Maxson's perspective to think that the United States have not condoned the experiments with the FEV. I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure this scientist is actually correct. Uh, well, correct in saying that he was just following orders. I'm not, not necessarily saying that is a good excuse because after all, that's basically what the Nazis said. Like, that's basically what every one of the people uh, during the Nuremberg trials said, right? That what they did was technically legal by the law of the Third Reich. Uh, so th they can't be tried for that. Uh, so, so I'm not saying it's a good excuse. I'm just saying that Captain Maxson, uh, to me, uh, is wrong in assuming that the United States government w would never do something like that. Uh, okay, I tried again to speak to the colonel through the door, but he seems to have completely lost his touch with reality. I broke the door down with several men just in time to watch him blow his head off. Right before he pulled the trigger, he said he was sorry. By killing the egghead, I seem to have confirmed my position as the leader of the men. They follow me without question now. The interrogation was invariably end up uh, the interrogations invariably end up being executions shellman held out the longest but the end result was the same his arguments her arguments about her orders were a bit too specific to be completely made up i'm getting a really bad feeling in my gut about 
all, how all of this is going to end up. I don't even lie to myself anymore about all of the reasons for executing the scientists. I finally replied to the outside world on the radio. I don't know why they, they never sent anyone here to see what was happening when we stopped responding to their transmissions. It doesn't make any sense. Well, they will come now. I've declared ourselves uh, seceded from the Union. Uh, they remember Jefferson, Dav Je Je Jefferson Davis. What will history say about me? Okay, interesting. Interesting, I didn't know that. When I played the new Fallout games, I'm not sure if it was ever elaborated upon. But I guess, technically speaking, right before the war uh, has started, uh, when uh, when uh, Maxon's ancestor, you know, the current Maxon, the leader of the... Although, although wait, maybe it's him. How, how, how old is he? Nah, it can't be him. It, it has been like 90 years. So, so I doubt it's him. Uh, pr presumably his father or, or grandfather. Uh, right before the war started, uh, when they discovered the horrible experiments that the United States government have been condoning, uh, they seceded? Like, technically speaking? Uh, I didn't know that. Obviously that's illegal, like, you can't do that. Uh, and he specifically um, refers to Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy, uh, which I don't think is a good role model to base your insurrection upon. Obviously the Confederacy was uh, repugnant, repugnant, and what they stood for was repugnant as well, because to be honest, I'm sick to death of the lost cause myth, like of the people saying that, oh, the, the Confederacy didn't really, uh, like it wasn't about slavery, it was about state rights. Uh, yes, it was about state rights to keep slaves, like that was one of the main state rights that they wanted to, upheld, uh, to uphold. Uh, it was specifically, you know, uh, mentioned in the constitution of the confederacy and in like the most prominent speech speeches by, by Jefferson Davis how their nation uh, the nation of the confederate states of America is built on the great and undeniable truth that n not all people are, not all people are equal basically which is like when you when you say it out loud today it's so uh, unreal to me but, but but back then, that was basically what they stood for, and you can't deny that, like, come on. Um, what the hell is going on? We declare ourselves to be in full desertion from the army, and no longer under the government's command, and what happens? Nothing. Something bad is going coming down. Mm, yeah, the, the, the war is starting, so, well, the final war. I guess the war itself has been going on for, long, for a long time, because uh, the United States, States have actually been fighting with China over Alaska uh, before the bombs actually fell. I can't believe the bastards finally did it. Damn them all to hell, they finally let the A-bombs fly. We were right in the middle of trying to pry the real story out from Von Felden, when we completely lost contact. I have a feeling the research center was hit hard. I don't know why, just call it a gut feeling. It seems inconceivable that we were not targeted. I'm sure China will make up for that oversight real soon. Luckily, we have all moved our families from the outside into the facility the day before yesterday. Uh, we do not yet know if the fallout has reached this area. Sergeant Platner has volunteered to go outside today to take specific readings of the atmosphere. It seems that the radiation has not yet spread far. Since he was wearing his power armor, there was no threat to him from radiation, but if he, if he had been exposed, he would have had to be exiled. We don't have the adequate decontamination facilities. I convinced the men that we should bury the scientists. I don't know why. Perhaps it was my it was to ease my conscience. I finally started to believe their stories when the last one was dying. My god, what have I, what have I become? We are leaving this godforsaken place today. I am leading the exodus to the old government bunker at Lost Hills. I am leaving this log behind to be buried when this place goes in the next exchange. Who knows, maybe someone will find it someday. Okay, and there is also Richard Gray audio diary. Well, not much of audio in here, but 
Okay. Uh, I'm dying. I need to get down before the pain overwhelms me. I can't believe that I was finally able to drag myself out of this vat. The slime did not affect me, but I nearly drowned. I didn't know what happened to Harold. He was standing right next to me when the crane knocked me into the vat. He must have been killed, or he would have tried to help me. I think he actually lost consciousness, and that's why he didn't help. Uh, Francine is dead, killed by one of the robots. I have no idea how much time has passed. I was able to hack the computer to turn off the robots and record this, but now my mind is slipping away. There is so much pain. The green slime that I was immersed in is the source of all the mutations that uh, we traced to here. My skin uh, is to fester and peel. Uh, in other areas it's bubbling and starting expanding a green mucus-like substance. Sometimes the pain is almost unbear- no, it's almost tolerable. tolerable. I can actually walk a few steps again. It seems inconceivable that I dragged myself all the way up here from the vat room. Strangely, I'm actually feeling stronger, though, we, though I'm still in a lot of pain. Everything seems to be getting smaller. I think I consumed one of the mutant things that's carrying around here today. Before I knew what was happening, some sort of tendril had sprung from my stomach and covered the poor creature. As soon as as soon as it has sucked the rodent into my gut, I could actually feel its mind. I think there is a very real possibility that I'm slowly going insane and I can no longer differentiate between what's real and what's a hallucination. Maybe I'm still slowly dying in the vat and I've imagined all this. Things are becoming more clear to me every day. The toxin have actu has actually improved my mind. I feel that I can understand even the most complex philosophical questions simply and directly. It's as if all the layers of artifice have been stripped away. I wonder what would happen if I submerged an animal in the vats for a prolonged period of time. Would it gain awareness? The strangest, th strangest thing is happening to the animals. They actually become stronger, no smarter, and more aware of their surroundings. I dropped a dog and a rat at the same time today, and they were fused together. It's not quite the two creatures anymore, but it's more than one. Perhaps this is the future, coming together of different creatures in some sort of harmonious unity. I no longer consume the different animals I create simply for sustenance. I have become the instrument through which unity will be achieved. I am so much more than a human being now. Okay, wait, so that's quite a twist, actually. It turns out that uh, Richard Gray, well, I, at least I presume, uh, judging by the talking about unity, uh, he's the master. Uh, like, he fell into the vat with the uh, radioactive slime and he was mutated in some, in, into some sort of weird psychic creature. And I presume he's the master now, uh, because it's even capitalized here. It is time to bring others into the glory that is the unity. Uh, a lost soul has finally strayed into my home. I was so surprised they consumed him before dipping. Uh, a mistake I shall not make again. His mind was so primitive as to be repulsive to my refined cognitive abilities. I've begun to modify myself to be more pleasing to the unity by injecting, injecting small doses of the virus to my body. The slime in the vats is a man-made virus called the Force Evolutionary Virus. This information was acquired from my newly grown Neuralink with the base computer. Uh, the few wonders, wanderers that have found my way uh, here, found their way here, have been a disappointment. They can't seem to mutate correctly. The best I was able to create are some big and dumb mutants. Most can recall nothing from before I initiated them into the wondrous unity. I only feed for them on, fu uh, on them for fuel for now. Their minds are nothing to me. O oh, glorious creator, I have succeeded in spreading the complete joy of unification to another soul. Unlike the others, his total radiation count was low. I believe this is the factor we have been looking at all this time, as it seems the conversion is much more successful in cases which le with less radiation damage. I have never known such glory as I felt when I was taking his mind in into our own. We are beginning to create a dedicated uh, army uh, to unifying the wonderful diversity of life. We have trained them to continue our work. 
And while we search out for more, more populated areas to take into ourselves, we are beginning to feel the limitations of a body that is, mobi that is mobile. We must find a permanent home with a greater store of knowledge and a steady supply of biomass. We have stopped increasing ourselves until we can find this new unification center. When we have arrived, we will continue to grow and feed until we have brought peace and unity to the entire world. Okay, that's pretty clear that he must be the master. Uh, so, let's save. And I guess let's engage the other commands. And display security codes. Uh, oh, attempt to hack the firewall to get more data. Display security code encryption table. You have successfully hacked into the encryption table. Command. Uh, Okay, I guess I'm done. Uh, I, I've explored everything, so initiate one minute silent self-destruct sequence. And let's get out. Though, will a minute be enough? Okay, I might have goofed, actually. <laughs> it, it will be kind of ridiculous when I kill myself. Okay, 25 seconds left, and it should be okay, 16 seconds. Well, let's get out. Before it all goes to hell. 9 seconds. Hmm... Time left, 9 seconds, you say. Well... to flee that map? I think I died. Uh, okay, that's weird. I, I, I thought it would only uh, destroy the base itself, as in as, uh, the building. But I guess I have to flee that spot on the map? Okay. Uh, I guess... I guess... It doesn't have to be uh, silent, uh, because... Everyone is dead already, uh, but I guess I can go for three minutes, and uh, this, this way I will have more time uh, to get out. But that was pretty weird overall. Wait, I, I don't think the game can count, or alternatively I maybe can't read, because I'm pretty sure 300 seconds is not three minutes. So maybe it wasn't three minutes, maybe it was, what, uh, five?
Okay, so let's get out completely this time. I guess I might be heading back to the Brotherhood to report on my success after it blows up. Okay, I wonder if I can still see the ruins. Uh, again. Okay, it's not particularly interesting. Uh, uh, but I also leveled up. So, let's put points into... I guess, science. Uh, I might go into a hundred already. And then a point into repair. Okay, it seems all right. So, let's go back to the Brotherhood and report on my success. Okay, so a bunch of super mutants are attacking. But I'm not that afraid of them anymore. Okay. So, let's go and talk with um, the other. Oh, I should probably hide my weapon. Just to not offend them. Hello again, Initiate. Uh, things going well? Mm, can I have a question? Shoot. Mm. Then get out. I have work to do. Okay, apparently they don't care, which is interesting and weird. Oh well, so I guess it's time to go to the cathedral and con confront the master. Mm. But actually, before I do, I'm going to travel, travel to Necropolis, because there were su some super mutants there, and I wonder what the reaction is going to be now that the military base have been destroyed has been destroyed, uh, and obviously, if it's going to be hostile, I can take them now. So let's go to Necropolis.
come across a small party of merchants. Uh, to be honest, I don't care at this point. Um. You come across a small party of merchants. Again, I don't really have anything to trade with. And, and money seems inconsequential at this point. Don't, don't tell me it's a small group of merchants. No, apparently it's a pair of red scorpions. <laughs> 